side 235. Imagine a luxurious, pristine garden with beautiful exotic flowers grouped in various sections around this vast garden. It has waterfalls and water running through it and pathways with easy resting chairs spread throughout. This garden does not have fences, gates and guards. Does not have. Do you see, do you see that the well-being of this garden is dependent on the people who have access to it? If people are caring and neat, the garden will be kept in good condition. However, if there is one individual, just one individual, who is disrespectful of his surroundings, the garden is in danger. If there were gates and guards, the facility would be kept pristine from unwanted outside influences. Describe a little bit about the inside 235. So, you have a garden. An elaborate garden with unbelievably beautiful flowers, all colors, shapes, places, rivers, and waterfalls, all these things, and benches around. If this garden has no gates, if this garden has no guards, it only takes one person to mess it up. He goes there, eats his food, throws garbage around. You know, walks all over the grass. You know, smacks the flowers, whatever. All this stuff. It, it, the 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 garden will be in a mess. It's at the mercy of just one person who is ill-mannered. It's crazy. So you don't want that. That garden is not not gonna last long. You know. So when you build the garden, it has precious things in it. You want to be kept. You want to have this garden kept in a very good condition. You have to have guards. You have to have gates, right? cleaning crew, crew and all the stuff, right, maintainers of the garden. Now think of your mind. The mind has to be guarded similar to this garden. Your mind is precious. All sorts of things are happening in, in your mind and you use your mind. So it's, it's very dear to you. You can't have everybody, you can't have just even one person come into your mind and mess it up. You just cannot allow not even one person through the senses through the doors of your senses through, through the gates of your senses to enter your mind and influence it in a negative way no you you as a guard you're appointed as a guard over your um, over over your mind the guard of the gates of your mind you have to guard the gates you have to guard what you see you have to guard what you hear you have to guard what you think of you have to guard your own body, your your tongue, your senses, everything. Guard whoever whoever is within your vicinity, your ears, what you can hear, you know. Why you wanna because you wanna keep your mind pristine, like this beautiful fantastic garden, so that you can use it. My God, have you you know, have you been to such a garden where the flowers are just fantastic, super fun, and then the flow of water and you sit there and you see the swans such a such a fantastic pleasure it is to be in such a garden you know the smells of the flowers you know and so think of your mind this way if your mind was this ah such a pleasure your mind would be for you to experience your mind in this pure pure state you experience yourself others interacting with you it's fantastic so keep it clean clean your mind and keep it clean be the guard don't allow anybody to come into your mind disturbing it through your senses, okay?